Hi everyone. So today we are starting a new lesson. Today we will learn new ways to use gerunds. So we talked about gerunds in the last video, ing words, and we talked about when do you use a gerund and when do you use an infinitive. Today we are going to learn other ways that we can use gerunds. So come with me and let's get started. So one more time, gerunds are when we take the verb and we add ing. We add ing and really we are making that verb a noun. For example, I like walking. Walking is the activity and I use a gerund walking because like, I'm talking about a preference. We talked about gerunds with preferences. I like walking. So what are some other examples of gerunds? Playing, cooking, reading, studying, and again, as I said, walking. These are examples of gerunds, ing words. That is the easiest way to think of it. They are ing words. So last time we studied gerunds, we talked about gerunds with a preference. I hate cleaning the kitchen. I enjoy swimming. I love watching TV. I prefer reading. These are all preferences, things we like or things we don't like. Today we are going to talk about gerunds that follow phrases with prepositions. What does that mean? Okay, so many times in English we have phrases that end with a preposition. Let me explain. For example, I could say, I am afraid of getting coronavirus, okay? Afraid of is a phrase, afraid of. It ends with the preposition of. Prepositions are words like in, of, about, for, and at. Those are the prepositions that we are going to work with in this unit. Okay, we are going to learn new phrases and the prepositions that go with them. And when we have those phrases and prepositions, we usually follow it with a gerund. That was a lot of information. Let's look at examples. That will make it easier. So here is an example. What is he thinking about? What is he thinking about? Okay, thinking about is your prepositional phrase. Okay, and we have here, he's thinking about buying a car. He's thinking about buying a car. Let's look at another example. What is she afraid of? So afraid of is my phrase. She's afraid of losing her job, losing her job. So notice we have the phrase afraid of, that's in green. And then losing her job, losing is my gerund. It is in blue. So what is she afraid of? prepositional phrase, losing her job. Losing is the gerund. What are they interested in doing? What are they interested in doing? They're interested in applying for a loan. They're interested in applying for a loan. So again, I have interested in. That is a phrase. We always have interested within, interested in, they go together. 
what are they interested in? That means what are they thinking about? What do they want? And they're interested in applying for a loan. So again, my prepositional phrase is in green and I follow it with a gerund, which I put in blue. Okay, so now you have some work to do. I want you to get out your notebooks. Get out your notebooks. Get out a pencil or a pen, something to write with. And you are going to find a clean sheet of paper and you are going to make a chart that looks like my chart. So if you need to stop the video, if you need to pause the video, you can stop for just a minute, go get your notebook and a pencil, and then press play again, and we will get started on making a chart, okay? Did you get your paper? Do you have a pencil? Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is to hold your paper like this, and you are going to make your chart. Okay, so yours should look like mine. Do you see that? And at the top, I want you to write the words of, about, in, for, and at. So yours will look just like mine. Do you see that? Okay, now I am going to tell you some of the phrases that gerunds often follow, and I want you to write those in the chart. Are you ready? Make sure you have your chart ready, and we will begin. So the first phrase is of phrases. Let's look at the first one afraid of afraid of when you are afraid of something you are scared it is going to happen and in english we use afraid and of together afraid of tired of tired of okay tired of is another phrase tired and of go together when we say tired of, we are usually not talking about, oh, I'm tired. Tired of means I am bored or annoyed of this behavior or this activity. So I could say, I am tired of staying home all the time. I am tired of watching TV. I could say to my children, I am tired of you asking me so many questions. Tired of means I don't want it anymore. So it doesn't mean sleepy. <sighs> it means I have had enough of this. I don't want any more. Excited about. Yay! Excited about. Okay, if you're excited about something, you are really happy and you cannot wait for it to happen. You are excited. Same as happy about, okay? Excited is a little bit more happy. So excited about or happy about. Those always go with about. Nervous about. Remember when we talked about nervous? Hmm. When you are nervous about something, you are not sure, you have um, a strange feeling in your tummy because you are just a little bit scared. If you have to talk in front of the whole class and you are shy, maybe you feel nervous, okay? My sons play piano 
And when they have to play piano for other people, they feel nervous, okay? Nervous is a little bit scared, a little bit worried, nervous. So if you need to pause so that you can write everything down, remember, you can pause. Let's look at the next one. Sad about, sad about, okay? So just like we have happy about, the opposite is sad about. I am sad about not having class, sad about. Think about, think about, okay? Think about means we are thinking about something. I am thinking about buying a new house. I am thinking about what to have for dinner, okay? Think about. Worried about, worried about. Remember, worried is a lot like nervous, but if you're worried, it usually means like really scared. Maybe you go to the doctor and you are worried about what he will say about your health. Okay, worried about. Interested in, interested in. So if you are interested in something, it means you think that it is not boring, it is really interesting. So I am interested in many things. I am interested in teaching. I am interested in um learning about world history i am interested in learning how to play piano like my boys these are things that i am interested in you all know i am interested in running i like running and i am interested in knowing more about running interested in thank for and really this is to thank someone for. So if I want to say, thank you for coming to my party, okay? Notice I followed with that gerund coming. To thank for means just a way to say thank you. Famous for. To be famous, to be famous is everybody knows who you are. Okay, Barack Obama is famous. He was president, he is famous. Donald J. Trump, also famous, but because he is president. Who are some other famous people? Beyonce is famous for singing. Beyonce is famous for singing. Um, Brad Pitt is famous for acting. He has been in a lot of movies. Those people are famous. They are famous for what they are good at. This is our next word, good at. If you are good at something, means you can do it really well, okay? I am good at, I hope I am good at teaching. I hope I am good at teaching. Um, my boys are good at playing soccer. Good at means, yes, I can do this really well. The opposite of good at, bad at. Bad. So we just went through a lot of phrases. I know it is a lot of phrases. Don't worry. We will practice those during the unit, okay? We will practice those during the unit. Um, you don't need to know them all right now, but it is one of those things where I think it would help for you to look at the phrases, say them aloud, and practice them so that you are hearing them, you are saying them, and you are reading them, okay? So every night, I want you to take out your chart, and I just want you to practice reading them. 
read them out loud so that you can hear them, you can say them, and you can read them, and you will get better at them. If you have any questions still about what they mean, please send me a message. But like I said, we will practice, practice, practice. We are going to start practicing right now. So in this next exercise, I want you to follow along with me. We will read the sentences and then we will fill in the gerund that makes the most sense from the word bank. So we will read the sentences and then we will write the gerund. Let's start. Let's look at the example. Number one, I'm worried about paying interest on my credit card balance. I'm worried about paying interest on my credit card balance. Our preposition phrase here is worried about, worried about. And so we follow that with the gerund paying, okay? Let's look at number two. Rob is afraid of, and then we have a blank, into debt. He pays for everything with cash. So Rob is afraid of, look at the word bank. What word do you think fits there? Rob is afraid of getting into debt. Okay, we talk about getting into debt. Rob is afraid of getting into debt. He pays for everything with cash. Number three, have you thought about, have you thought about blank a checking account? So here we have present perfect. Have you thought about, okay? And what do you think goes there? Something with a checking account. Have you thought about opening a checking account? Have you thought about opening a checking account? To open a checking account means to go to the bank and tell them that you want to keep your money there. You want a new account. Number four, Elizabeth is happy about blank an apartment she can afford an apartment she can afford she is happy about hmm let's look at our choices right she is happy about finding an apartment she can afford finding an apartment she can afford again happy about is one of those phrases we talked about and now we are following it with our gerund finding. Number five, Elena is excited about, hmm, blank classes at the community college. So Elena is excited, that's a good thing. And what is she excited about? Which word works there? She is excited about starting classes at the community college starting classes at the community college. Let's look at some more examples. Number six, I am tired of, hmm, tired of, and then payments on my car. Let's see, does apply work there? I'm tired of applying payments on my car. That doesn't quite fit. And we already used find, hmm, I am tired of making payments on my car. That works. To make payments on your car means you are trying to pay it off. You pay a little bit every month, you are making payments, paying a little bit every month. Number seven, Franco isn't interested in Right, and now we can use the word applying. You apply for a loan. So Franco isn't interested in applying for a loan. Maybe Franco does not want debt, okay? So he is not interested in, he doesn't want to do it. Number eight, 
thank you for, we only have a few choices left. Hmm, I think this one is lending. Thank you for lending me money to go to for school. So if someone gives you money, lending. Thank you for lending me money for school. Number nine, we're thinking about, now we have thinking about, that's our phrase, and we're going to follow with a preposition, I mean with a gerund, I'm sorry, we're gonna follow with a gerund. We're thinking about blank to a nicer neighborhood. What one works there? Right, we're thinking about moving to a nicer neighborhood. And last, she's famous for, hmm, blank, a lot of money on clothes. Well, we only have one choice left, and it's really the only one that fits. She is famous for spending a lot of money on clothes. Okay, so how did you do? Were those examples hard? You can go through and read them again. That's one of the great things about learning with a video. You can look at them again and say them aloud. Keep practicing. So now I want you to get out your workbooks. Get out your workbooks. We are going to do page 82 in the workbook. Please just do page 82. Page 82. We will go over that homework in the next video and continue practicing working with gerunds. I'll see you then. Bye.